My name is Amata and in this Red Gamer Tech video I have a couple of items for you on our itinerary today and the first thing is to do with Nvidia and the prices of their GeForce graphics cards. Now you may have seen earlier on this month the reports that the prices of their graphics cards would see a price rise amounting to roughly 10% due to memory shortages which I have covered in another video and if I remember I will link it in the description below. Now we have a new report from Mizuho's chief semiconductor analyst basically saying that this pricing inflation trend will continue to at least December when the demand for cryptocurrency is expected to lessen. Now of course we have seen that this price rise effect more than just in video, we've seen you know, especially with Vega, but also you know with the 580s and that sort of thing. We've also seen it with 1070s and so on. But demand for Nvidia's graphics cards among miners is better than expected this month, according to the report, which you again will find linked in the description below. And they have driven prices up by 25% in the last six months. That's quite significant. I'm sure you will agree. Now, as I said, they are expecting the demand among miners to decline going into December. And of course, not helping this is the DRAM shortages as well, which again, I have covered in another video. Now, I've got a bit of a quote here from the report, which says, quote, Our checks with the leading GPU and motherboard OEMs indicate SEPQ GPU card trends are very strong, with card shipments coming in 30 to 50% ahead of flat QQ expectations on strength from cryptocurrency mining. Cryptocurrency demand is driving strength in NVIDIA's GTX 1060-1070 cards. The GPU motherboard OEMs also noticed GPU pricing was up 25% in the last six months. The OEMs also noted zero inventory of GPUs in the channel and constrained short DRAM price of supply and pricing also affecting GPU shipments, coming off a very strong SEPQ. There are also expectations in the supply chain that December Q sales could be muted in pricing and demand on recent cryptocurrency bans and DRAM shortages. So basically the TLDR of all of that is what I've already said, but essentially if the report is accurate, and obviously this ends up being true, this is kind of a prediction from them, the prices for Nvidia at least will ease off around December and we'll probably see a knock-on effect for the 580s and the popular mining cards for AMD around that time as well, assuming the demand does decrease for mining. Obviously... The bans as well by China on cryptocurrencies have also had a knock-on effect, but really this is just kind of like a, the perfect storm, because you've got the DRAM shortage, and obviously you've got the cryptocurrency mining, kind of combining together to raise prices. Mining itself may have not risen the price 25%, but it's combined with the DRAM shortage, which obviously is making these cards more expensive to produce, you kind of see what I'm, where I'm going with this, and it has just... Ended in a rather sharp price rate, price raise, excuse me, for a lot of people, and a lot of people being like, alright, I'm just going to wait for all this nonsense to calm down. So keep your eyes peeled, basically. Obviously there's going to be the normal sort of post-Christmas or pre-Christmas Amazon deals, or whatever, your retailer of choice, whatever, you know, they usually have deals after Christmas and that sort of thing. So keep your eyes peeled, there may be a window for you to get yourself a graphics card if you've been thinking of upgrading for more the price that you might have been expecting prior to this whole craze and of course prior to the pressure due to the DRAM shortage. However, we've got another item to discuss that is actually on the CPU side. It is once again to do with the 8700K. Yep, you guessed it, we have yet more benchmarks for this particular processor, this time on user benchmark. Now, you will be seeing the results on screen where you can see some... Pretty nice figures for speed, overclock, and the quote nice to have sort of user benchmark, as well as some pretty nice results for gaming and workstation as well. Now I'm also going to put on screen for you some comparisons versus both the Ryzen 7 1700 and of course its predecessor, the 7700K, to give you an idea of how this compares against not only its predecessor, but of course current cards available on the market. Because of course that is the more important factor is like it's all good to have in this performance, but obviously that performance does not occur in a vacuum. You want to know, okay, what am I going to get for my cash? Is my money better spent on something else? You know, when you're spending several hundred pounds or dollars or whatever your currency of choice happens to be, you want to know 
Am I making the right choice for the budget that I have? So unsurprisingly, we're seeing some pretty nice improvements versus its predecessor. And it versus Ryzen 7, as I already said, it does do fairly well, but Ryzen does beat it in some areas as well. So we'll have to see. And by that I mean, of course, the complete picture. This plus all the other leaks and benchmarks and all that that we've had, we are getting quite the nice image of how Coffee Lake is actually going to perform. And the answer is pretty damn well. I will admit, Coffee Lake is looking very, very tasty. And uh, it's definitely going to be a, t a choice for a lot of people, I think, when it comes to their next upgrade. I know Paul's kind of got his eye on it. Like, hmm, maybe I should grab this instead. <laughs> it is pretty interesting how it kind of trades blows with the Ryzen 7. And you kind of got give and take on both sides. And obviously the 8700K is... A bit more expensive than the Ryzen 7, but of course Ryzen 7 has also been out for quite a bit longer. And as a quick bonus, I'll, I'll throw in the 1700X as well, just so you get the more complete picture as to how the Coffee Lake 8700K performs versus AMD's little uh, top dog CPU, I guess. So... Thank you very much for watching guys, your support is always appreciated. Do remember to check us out over on patreon.com forward slash redgamingtech. Your support is highly appreciated, even if you don't end up donating, do know that your likes, subscribes, shares, all of that really does make a big difference and means a great deal to us as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.